Welcome to Cyber Simplified, the channel where we simplify cybersecurity for everyone. Today, we're diving into one of the most significant data breaches in history, the Facebook Cambridge Analytica scandal. With billions of users, Facebook, which is now known as Meta, is a social media giant, while Cambridge Analytica was a political consulting firm that combined data mining and analysis with strategic communication. The Facebook Cambridge Analytica scandal unfolded in early 2018, but the roots can be traced back to 2014, with an app called This Is Your Digital Life developed by Alexander Kogan. Kogan's app appeared to be a simple personality quiz, but it harvested data from users and their Facebook friends. Facebook's API at the time allowed this extensive data collection. Cambridge Analytica got hold of this data, which Kogan had no permission to resell. The firm then used it to create psychological profiles for targeted political advertising. Facebook was alerted to this in 2015, but didn't suspend Cambridge Analytica until 2018. So what kind of data was collected? This included public profile information such as likes, interests, and friends lists. This affected approximately 87 million users globally. Cambridge Analytica used this data for political micro-targeting, most notably in the 2016 U.S. presidential election and the Brexit referendum. The scandal caused public outrage, leading to the hashtag Delete Facebook movement. Mark Zuckerberg was called to testify before the U.S. Congress and EU Parliament. Ultimately, Facebook was slapped with a $5 billion fine by the Federal Trade Commission for privacy violations. This breach was a wake-up call on the importance of data privacy and protection. Facebook had to make significant changes to its policies, restricting data access by third-party apps. The European Union's GDPR, which emphasizes user consent, also came into the spotlight as a regulatory model. The long-term effects of this breach are still unfolding. The social media industry as a whole is under scrutiny regarding data handling practices. It's critical for users to be vigilant and use available tools to safeguard their data online. For businesses, this breach highlights the importance of transparent data practices and obtaining informed consent from users. Policymakers must also consider implementing comprehensive data protection laws. Encouraging ethical data handling practices is essential in preventing similar incidents. To sum up, data privacy is not just a buzzword, it is a fundamental right. The Facebook Cambridge Analytica data breach showcased the far-reaching consequences of data misuse. It's a reminder that individuals, businesses, and governments need to work together to protect this precious commodity. Let's all be more vigilant and proactive in safeguarding our data. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. Until next time, stay safe online.